Hey guys, Zach Miner here for Rev3 Games, and last night, Max Payne 3 for PC finally unlocked on Steam. Rockstar has been talking up the PC version for a while now, assuring us that it's not a simple port and has instead been developed in conjunction with the console version. So does it live up to the hype? Let's check it out. First of all, the game is 30 gigs. 30 goddamn gigabytes. It's huge. And boy, does it show. The game is gorgeous. All the stuff you're seeing here is captured directly from the PC version at 1080p with settings mostly on high. Uh, textures are clear and detailed, bullet holes are wet bloody messes, even Passos' beard looks rough and fuzzy. I thought the console version was a beautiful game, and it still is, but the PC version is an improvement in every single way. I thought one of the most stunning aspects of the console version was all the animations, and they look even smoother and more detailed if that's possible here. Of course, that's only if you can run it. I've only been able to play the first couple levels of the game so far, uh, but I've been playing in nearly maxed out settings at 1080p, and it's been hanging around 30 frames per second on my GTX 470 box. Of course, your mileage may vary, and I haven't been able to test out how it scales yet, but if you have, let me know how it plays on your system. I played the original Max Payne on PC, and even though I love Max Payne 3 on consoles, I thought the controls felt a little bit lacking to me. Uh, all that is completely gone. There's no more free aim or soft lock choices, it's just free aim. Uh, and it feels great with mouse and keyboard. Rockstar really hyped up that they wanted the game to be a third-person shooter that controlled and felt like a first-person shooter, and that totally rings true on mouse and keyboard. So overall, it's got better graphics if your machine can run it, uh, better controls in my opinion, and the game just feels like a native PC game. Uh, menus don't have any of that press start bullshit you see in a lot of titles, and perhaps my favorite thing about it is the nod to the original games. When you try to quit, it gives you these series of rotating confirmation dialogues that seem like they were written by Max Payne himself. Awesome. So yeah, ultimately, if you've been holding out for the PC version, you will not be disappointed. I wish that more companies took the same approach that Rockstar has uh, with Max Payne 3 here, and hopefully this is a sign that they're going to be putting a lot more focus on their PC versions in the future especially with Grand Theft Auto V, of course. So, well done, guys. If you've played the PC version, let me know in the comments what you think and how it's running on your machine. And we'll see you guys next time.